Hi guys, <coughs> welcome back. Um, <coughs> so this uh, topic is about uh, creating an Ansible module in Python. Uh, this is just a basic one so that uh, this is in preparation actually for the next topic which is much more advanced. That's OpenShift and Prometheus getting the metrics and then playing with the uh, um, JSON because most of that will be in JSON. But right now, I just want to show you how uh, you can call the Python from, from Ansible. Why do you, do you need to do that? Because in working in six years, uh, Ansible, the reason that Ansible is getting get popular is because of the no, no it's a driverless. But after that, it's crazy. It's hard to program the the strings or, or or the data right and if you are also manipulating with with bash you will use the module shell and there are so many errors there that uh, good thing Ansible provided the, the ignore errors is equals to true so that's the one I, I used but actually if you uh, uh, do uh, research more on, on the, the in-depth it's supposed to be really no error but you can make that uh, without using the ig uh, no ignore errors but I can show you that later on but this one is just for the simple uh, creation of Ansible module in, in Python so if you will be doing some kind of special string manipulation or other systems task you should do that in Python not in Ansible Okay, so the, the first example here is uh, let's just let's just redo the the creation of folder just just for the sake of uh, simple simple creation of the of the module right so let's just uh, create create the repository as create folder right and then inside there. Uh, let's just so we need the library right that that will be the storage for the for the Python okay and then um, that's it and then uh, if we open that folder okay so we can create everything here so from this one um, so let's create also the folder YAML let's create folder and the Python is also py now it's py right I will not discuss any Python here just 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 uh, uh, I will give you some 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 tips simple tips right but but this is not about the the Python this is just about creating the Ansible module in, in, in Python. So we can create the the very basic one. So and we will pass the we will just create a simple module in Python and so that will be also create underscore folder with a colon and let's use pt to send the path i don't want to use the path itself maybe it's a you know a reserved one that you cannot use so so we just want to create create that one for example and this will be the uh, ansible module and inside the ansible module how you create this one is just a simple one right so if probably most of you are confused with with oh it's this if you there's so many online in python right you just you just need the basic and from that basic someone give you a special you know a tutorial discussion a very simple one that from that simple one you can create a very complicated one a, a complicated task so the Python always start with the, uh, of course, shebang, right? Like 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 in bin in in bash, you have a bin bash, right? And after that, you can 
you should put this is optional the, the documentation you can put all the documentation you want here right you describe the how how you call this is the example blah 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 and just with the with the dot 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 also that 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 is very special one if you are you know you're putting an equal to, to a variables that have uh, multiple quotes and and because you already use the the double quotes right I hope then you use, you use the single quotes oh how, how I need to use another quotes again so but so this uh, the one that can fix that is the triple that just just for just for uh, reflection for 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 this that that that, that documentation right so after that um, uh, the my program will use OS library so that I can I can use the I can create a, a folder um, maybe I don't need the sys right uh, but let us just leave it there and these are important okay so without this you will not be able to do the the, uh, the ansible module so these are required so i don't want to de de describe what it is because it's it's also python it's just it's just a library okay so the the library are this one and then uh you will be using all this uh, ansible module basics within the the, the code so from from there uh, you, of course you need the the main which is the the main function right and then from the main function so that that will be executed it's always the python will check the the bottom one right that you have this if name is equals to main it will just execute the the default one okay that's that's what what what, what it means <coughs> now these are when you are passing parameters right after that one uh, you need to pass the parameters so it means that you are passing uh, the module args the arguments you are passing it 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 just uh, telling telling that okay you're defining uh, an ans the, the ansible module is a is a you say it's a pt variables and it's the dictionary is required is equals to true without that the, the ansible will fail in, in a type string now so this is this is a dictionary and so if you have a second one here don't forget to put the comma here and if this if if this if this if this is the the last one here right this is the last one you should not put a, a comma okay the, so that is mistake especially when you have so many parameters already right you got mistake you, you copy the other one and the other one have comma too python will not tell you that that, that, that the error is like that you have to figure that, that, that out and it may be probably 30 minutes to, to one hour you will be looking for that for that solution so be careful okay so and then this is after that then you're telling that the this is the arguments that the module will have the this is the specification and the support check um, you don't need a uh, you don't need to put it through just 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 make it false um, you can search that on online how to what is the support checks mode through about true and false and then the PT here you are just the PT here is on the top one the, the the dictionary here that's the one and the PT here is your local variable in the ansible code right so the module that params that is PT meaning the, the the top one here you are putting it to the local variables of the the, the ansible module that you're creating so so this will be my code okay so the this these are the only thing that i will do okay okay do i have some kind of hint here um you cannot use print okay uh, or, or quit 
you will only see that you will you will only see that uh, on on the ansible code right the the data there so you you cannot do print you can only do print on always on the beginning and to to pass parameter so so this this are your code code start right and code end just just for the, the sake of simple the simple uh, explanation of of uh, creating the ansible module but because from there you will be able to create more elaborate one and then the ending here this is supposed to always like this this is the return right this is the the, the one that will tell uh, the ansible that what what are your codes happened this these are the response uh result response or the, the return one so why there's an error oh, yeah okay so use use the guide right so you, you see that the line vertical there so meaning that's that's, that's supposed to be the the the, the if where it sh should be at a line or tab right so the if here and then the else okay so it's always like that um, you will have more example on this one on the as I said this is preparation for the complicated the uh, ansible module that, that, that I will demonstrate here and for you to learn more more on uh, uh, the real automation you're automating the the, 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 the system so so this one will run now okay so let's remove that get started so ansible by, by the way my ansible is 296 i think i think 291 will, will also uh, 21 will work not only the 296 it's just crazy that um, i forgot the i forgot to say i was looking for solution always always empty empty i'll keep on searching i i forgot to click the, the save <laughs> okay so the name is uh, just create right so that's it and then let's put the verbose one so it create the temp test one um is th th that's successful right so temp test 10 or well, we will see nothing anyway there so if we put D, we will put we will see the folder. There. So it was it was probably created because the command we have here is just mk there minus p, right? So it's always it will it will not fail. So if we put 11 here and we test 11, so that's that that fails. So it's meaning it's not created yet, right? So if we run this one, so it's successful, and we check 11 now. So it's it it means it's successful. So so that's that's how it works right so we cannot force this one to to to, to fail right so what we can do is uh, we can do uh, we can force it here right so um, no error is equals to false okay so if you if we make it false um, right so th th that's how we make it post. Now he execute this one and it, and it return an ansible that the blah 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 error code polar code with with x is is actually zero. It means it's supposed to be successful, right? But we we just force it. You know what? Let's 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 do a crazy thing here. Um, what can we do to make this one post? Yeah, but but th that's it for now, guys. As, as I said, uh, I have uh, the next one will be an uh, interesting one because I said it's OpenShift, it's uh, Prometheus, and it's getting the metrics in JSON, and I will show you how uh, to manipulate all those JSONs, right? And um, there are some companies now that don't want to buy all these expensive tools. It's it can be done by by by. Uh, by DevOps engineer or automation. So thank you guys for watching.